Hey, Dada. Hey, what's up? What happens when your PTH is low? Oh, so that's when your PTH is low, your parathyroid hormone is low. That's called hypo parathyroidism. So what you have to remember is that this is most commonly caused after a thyroidectomy because the calcium levels drop because of the removal or the potential removal of the parathyroid gland. However, in general, you also have hypoplasia or, or low functioning of the parathyroid gland, which would cause hypoparathyroidism. Keep in mind that the calcium levels will be low and your biggest issue is going to be tetany potentials. When your calcium levels drop, it causes an increase in neuromuscular excitability. So you're going to do a Trousseau's test where you put the blood pressure cuff on the arm, you squeeze it, and if you have a carpal spasm, that's an indication of tetany. You can also tap on the cheek for the shavastic sign, and if the patient's cheek becomes spastic, then that's called, uh, that's a positive shavastic sign, and that also in indicates a neuromuscular excitability and potential for tetany. And so that is what's happening when the patient develops hypoparathyroidism. You have to look for neuromuscular excitability, and you have to give them calcium to make sure that it goes right back up. Thank you. Mm -hmm.